Uh, hi, Dr. Saxena here, and uh, I've been asked to talk, talk about what exactly is the role of melatonin cancer. Uh, having worked a lot with uh, melatonin, it is not just, I can always tell you, it's not just immune uh, modulator. It uh, helps body defend cancer-causing agents to a large extent, and uh, it can help in preventing damage to cells by free radicals. So uh, we have seen uh, the kind of uh, results what I try to work it out in the sense uh, there's a big number of things. What I can always tell you is there is a, there, in the past there has been a great deal of attention has been focused uh, on compounds that are potential uh, cancer fighters. Uh, we have heard about something uh, most recently about beta carotene, uh, vitamin C, shark cartilage. You have something like garlic, aged extract cholic acid of garlic and uh, we have uh, we knew about something like DHEA as well. So these are all uh, touted as weapons, in fact, uh, in a war against cancer. Uh, so uh, somewhere, ironically, I believe there is not much has been said to date about the melatonin and yet this hormone may hold a great promise. I can always uh, uh, discuss uh, with all of you. So see, this is um, uh, this operates as an anti-cancer in many ways. In uh, many ways, we'll discuss important uh, research studies that have shown that melatonin uh, can play a role both in the treatment of cancer and improving the quality of li lives of cancer patients. The, I can always tell, uh, go on and on. I think um, I can. Uh, um, we, I, I believe this is one of the greatest tools we have and uh, which we can always uh, work it out and uh, there, is a, there is a reason to say when we talk about this and uh, <clears throat> this is not just a sleep hormone and uh, we had in fact a lot of studies have shown uh, people of night shift workers, people who are on that excessive light, that bright light in the nights, and uh, people looking into uh, air crew people. So, and there is one more uh, interesting uh, thing which I can always uh, tell you about is uh, this particular stuff uh, where there is a study between a blind woman, uh, a blind woman. Uh, they rarely get breast cancer and uh, this is one thing which I always uh, try to, uh, this is something which uh, we have to look into that and uh, I can go back to uh, Dr. Uh, K, um, if Australia, Australia, the Australian cancer uh, specialist called Dr. Starr and um, he had used melatonin successfully to control sarcomas. And um, uh, we, sh uh, we all know sarcomas is uh, the tumor which goes in the bone, muscle and uh, connective tissue and it spreads like a wildfire and it's a bloodstream kind of stuff. And um, so uh, Star, what happened was he didn't publish his results uh, uh, in very, any well-known journals on those days and uh, it, was, uh, it was basically um, um, for his... Um, there are some students, uh, they started uh, taking the work back. And this, um, now that 50 years later, melatonin is now being uh, rediscovered by oncologists who are examining its potential as a cancer uh, treatment. And uh, this interest is long overdue and, the worst, um, and uh, we believe that uh, this is one of the I have a one particular thing, there is an immune system breakdown which causes cancer. That has to be a, a fundamental thing. And uh, if we can keep our immune system strong and resilient, and uh, we can remain cancer free. So, uh, so this is one of the things uh, which can be done by simply uh, reconstituting our youthful function of our pineal gland through melatonin supplementation. That should be your thing because as you are aging, uh, pineal glands fail to produce that kind of melatonin levels which uh, was uh, used to produce, and because of so many reasons with the calcification and of pineal, um, a lot of uh, toxicity around. So we believe, apart from that, our erratic uh, shifts in the uh, time of the work, what we are working, in the kind of bright lights, what we are working. 
so this particular thing it's melatonin is depleting uh, it's not properly secreted in the body in the uh, people above 40 years now and uh, that is one of the main reasons uh, and the uh, uh, the longer we live with the depleted melatonin levels we are sure we are going to develop cancer now or some other time so uh, this particular thing having said that uh, this uh, uh, i believe the uh, you need to uh, you need to be on the uh, same page and uh, this is one of the big things which i uh, always uh, try to uh, look at from a different perspective because uh, this breakdown of immunity uh, and uh, this uh, is a big uh, thing cancer uh, we have to connect one to one and uh, it is something cancer is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells that invade and destroy the surrounding tissue uh, so this uh, what exactly is the thing common that is goes to the root of what cancer really is is a it's basically a, a body surveillance system and that is breakdown in immune system what we call is the major thing and uh, it is that uh, thing which uh, immune system is involved uh, it protects the body from that unwanted invaders such as viruses or bacteria uh, so we always uh, said that another critical role of immune system was to attack and eliminate our own cells that has become malignant uh, so uh, your immune system is a big uh, surveillance kind of stuff and uh, the moment it gets into a some kind of uh, disarray uh, things really goes uh, haywire and um, um, so cancer more likely to occur when the immune system slows down uh, as it does when we age uh, so uh, we had seen AIDS people who had uh, huge issues with the immune system uh, they develop notoriously they are vulnerable for Kaposi's sarcoma and lymphomas despite their age and um, kind of stuff so uh, so this is uh, with this kind of thing uh, it is uh, i think uh, i can always uh, talk about uh, various things and uh, I, I i at the start i was talking about how many how different uh, things are causing a big problem uh, we are under uh, uh, there, there are a lot of free radical activity in our body uh, including uh, from uh, there's a formation of free radicals not just uh, it's because of your ultraviolet rays uh, it's because of alcohol it's because of radiation even the electromagnetic uh, emfs and even viruses so uh, so what happens is that in, in spite of all these things your body is into a kind of thing because of your surveillance system is good even uh, yet not every mutated cell goes to become a tu tumor so because your immune system puts it down that's a, uh, somebody's a ring on the other side, your own system, uh, knock out this potential troublemakers they, before they inflict any damage. Uh, however, this um, mutated cells uh, can also lie dormant for years. In the second phase of cancer process, the promoter of proliferative uh, 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 encourages these aberrations to start dividing. Uh, so, uh, the take here is. Uh, particularly when we talk about breast cancer, prostate cancer and all hormone dependent cancers. Uh, if a cancer is hormone dependent, it means that certain hormones can stimulate to grow. Uh, many studies have shown that when the cell is exposed to estrogen, it alters the cell growth, uh, normal growth patterns. Similarly, the prostate cancers are, uh, uh, have that kind of thing with the, uh, this particular stuff. So, uh, there was uh, people who tried uh, understanding this kind of stuff and uh, I can always uh, uh, talk about something about in 1993 there was a uh, conference which happened with aging and cancer and uh, in Germany Christian uh, Bosch uh, he reported that men with prostate cancer showed many hormonal abnormalities like the thyroid levels were low their levels of FSH were high um, uh, and their levels of prolactin which stimulates the immune system were very low. What was most striking in all of them was uh, the abnormality of melatonin levels that uh, he discerned. 
सो ई टू जस्ट गिव यू ए कैंड ऑफ आइडिया नॉर्मल मेलोडोन प्रोडक्शन पिक्स एट टू ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग देन बिगन्स टू डिक्लाइन एंड इन मैन विथ कैंसर हवर मेलोडोन प्रोडक्शन हैज गॉन कंप्लीटली आउट ऑफ वैक नॉट ओनली देर बॉडी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग लेस मेलोडोन दैन नॉर्मल बट दैर मेलोडोन लेवल्स इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज इन अनयूजल टाइम्स पिकिंग इन बोथ आफ्टरनून एंड नाइट सो देर स्ट्रॉन्ग एविडेंस दैट मेन्थ पीमियल ग्लैंड्स which produce melatonin was malfunctioning in most of this uh, cases the so with this background um, we uh, went ahead working on some uh, areas and uh, we started giving some uh, uh, things like uh, g- giving um, a uh, process we we are talking about how we can all this uh, this particular thing can be done in a proper way uh, in the sense i i can always talk about uh, my uh, association in the sense uh, with uh, this particular stuff uh, where i started talking about how this melatonin uh, which is produced uh, on a uh, hormone in the pineal gland it can be produced the uh, retina uh, gi tract and uh, this receptors which are then the fat tissues uh, kidney liver lungs and adrenals and the small amount of uh, uh, see this is one thing which uh, wanted to share with you so when we talk about inflammation immune system or uh, you have got our white blood cells which are main player in the human uh, immune system function have melatonin receptors and this melatonin appears to stimulate the release of cytokines and other proteins that help attack and invading infection that's the reason uh, they act as a very powerful anti inflammatory uh, preventing and reverses some of the damage that occurs uh, that uh, that occurs when the immune system attacks uh, our own tissue uh, so melatonin can stimulate uh, melatonin uh, can stimulate the immune system when it is needed uh, and while suppressing it when it is not needed but appears to have uh, Uh, this uh, this is one of the good uh, things which uh, has got the uh, role to play in melatonin and uh, i uh, somewhere believe uh, melatonin is uh, a, a art from aiding the immune system it acts as an antioxidant it blocks estrogen from binding into receptor sites and uh, it decreases cortisol levels it has got a great response balances the e- stress response and it helps the and prevents the cancer in a big way Uh, so what it does is it tries to improve the mood it tries to in, it improves the sleep quality it stimulates the parathyroid and uh, the uh, half of things it stimulates the production of growth hormone it's cardio protective it, and it 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 has a role in the cholesterol also and uh, effectively uh, what what is happening is it is uh, Uh, i was told by one of the uh, orthopedic surgeons he told me i know this is only for jet lag i am keen to know what are the other things uh, is a very uh, busy practitioner of orthopedic and i said okay you should join the conference and see what i has got this i have a book called melatonin miracle and um, i think i will share that particular thing with him uh, because i had uh, i had did learn anything everything from that book and um, uh, this is what i have to uh, tell people this was a harvard uh, study which showed people exposing to the blue light at night causing a problem and uh, this is uh, this particular thing um, uh, trying to totally disrupt your uh, thing and uh, in the present consensus what we are talking about covid and um, is a uh, we need to see that you can always melatonin can work as adjunct for covid 19 and uh, it can always uh, be uh, we had done some several cases and uh, i have um, guided them to go for the the, the, the key is the dose here and um, what i what dose i would like to share with you in patients who are admitted with in icu you can go up to 200 mg bd for 7 days and i can always tell you i have been talking to lot of doctors they i tell them please baba take this particular thing because you are always in contact with people and uh, that 3 mg is not going to be enough for when you uh, tra- when you are with up against this particular thing so 
so this is what uh, we are talking about and uh, and we are we have seen uh, for uh, for a layman i would like to tell you you have got a deficiency of melatonin deficiency you start getting insomnia fatigue anxiety morning awakening you have got uh, uninterrupted sleep interrupted sleep always and you get into all these problems uh, including cancer and all that so uh, these are the few of the uh, things which uh, uh, disrupts the melatonin in fact the big list uh, one is tobacco caffeine vitamin b12 deficiency but i can tell you among all these things the best the most common thing which is causing melatonin deficiencies these days is nothing but electromagnetic fields what we have been using our wireless uh, uh, devices uh, this wi-fi you know, this is a big thing which is causing uh, uh, this uh, particular issue uh, i would just like to tell about something about coronary artery disease uh, you have or something like uh, uh, you uh, this is one thing which always helps and uh, when uh, we talk about insulin regulation and obesity also uh, there is a role of melatonin and uh, this way we have worked on this uh, i the, i was starting to, i was telling about uh, initially what are the things which have been uh, studied um, this is uh, a powerful chronobiotic and uh, it has uh, got that uh, reduction in melatonin production that may occur with aging shift workers eliminated environments uh, during the night commonly induces simple things like insulin resistance glucose intolerance sleep disturbance and metabolic circadian changes and uh, to weight gain and um, uh, 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 this is one thing which uh, uh, is causing a circadian rhythm suppresses that um, uh, there is a, all this the lights and all that they induces the mitochondrial dna damage and um, this is all things which are peer reviewed and uh, which is causing a big uh, uh, rise in number of uh, degenerative diseases and uh, one thing which is a always we talk about neurogenerative diseases having worked with autism and all i believe there is a thing called alzheimer's also probably related to this uh, particular thing and um, we are talking about uh, parkinson in a big way now and uh, this is one if i am able to supplement my patients with good levels of melatonin i work with hyperbaric oxygen and uh, i try to supplement a good dose of melatonin with um, hyperbaric oxygen and there is a good response what i get from the patients and uh, for them that's most uh, important and uh, we had worked on some uh, cvas also where uh, people having um, uh, kind of uh, cerebrovascular accident they had some strokes or uh, kind of uh, um, this one uh, uh, ischemic infarcts and all that lacrimal infarcts all of them they put on this particular uh, thing uh, they they have uh, first of all low low ha having uh, less levels of melatonin itself is a risk for uh, cvas so uh, you need to be careful and if you are able to supplement this particular thing and you are, as a radiologist i must have seen a lot of pineal gland calcifications very commonly and um, i probably must have reported it as a um, normal variant and uh, we never checked what uh, is this thing i'm talking about uh, when i was to practice active radiology uh, so after this i'm uh, with this integrative medicine trying to work on all this stuff now i realize the importance of that particular sign if i get that calcified pineal gland now i will i'm sure that this uh, person is going to get into something like cva or um, any problems or he may get into a problem with the heart um, uh, ha, uh, things as such so uh, this is uh, one thing which is always uh, a good thing i try to in, you in fact use more things uh, not just uh, melatonin i try to work with high dose vitamin c d and other stuff also but melatonin for me has worked quite wonderfully and uh, in the sense in covid we had uh, a number of good number of cases and where they were into a, a really catch um, uh, 11 situation and uh, some way they were uh, they, they were not uh, the, the people who were ventilated and all that we were able to help them just by putting this particular stuff uh, which is the dose is the matter what i have showed already so uh, this is one thing which uh, i always uh, 
uh, understood yes there are some things which is going to help and i believe that um, uh, one thing are, i can understand is why the children are uh, they don't get into problem they have a good uh, normal thymus uh, particularly in that age group and the thymus has got uh, a good uh, innate immunity potential and by supplementing uh, melatonin i am able to i'm sure we are able to uh, uh, trying to revive the thymus and uh, that's the uh, beauty of that and we are uh, you know, already uh, trying to work on this particular stuff and uh, this is the uh, something which uh, i'm uh, i think i i i'm really happy that i have started working on this particular stuff called uh, melatonin and uh, i certainly say, tell people to avoid these bright lights use this uh, uh, glasses uh, uh, this was taught to me by uh, mercola and uh, i i always look at something called uh, prevention and uh, and you need to use this particular thing in a good way and uh, there are few contraindications of melatonin you can always look into that but um, and, uh, apart from that this is one of the most safest thing which i have come across and i use it uh, diligently and i use myself along with my patients thank you